one of the earliest digital protocols developed for PLC community. PLC or DCS uses its input and output interfaces to connect with field input slash output devices. To review, all input devices provide a signal to the PLC, and all output devices receive a signal from the PLC. All I.O. devices, however, do not send and receive the same type of signal. There are two different types of I.O. signals and two types of I.O. devices that use them. The two types of I.O. devices are discrete or digital devices and analog devices. Digital I.O. Digital devices are input or output devices that provide or receive discrete digital signals. A discrete digital signal is one that can report only two states, such as on slash off or open slash closed. Using current to transmit analog signals has the following advantages. Current signals are more immune to interference than voltage signals, since its value is unaffected by voltage drops in the conductors, stray thermocouples, contact resistance, and noise voltage due to capacitive and inductive coupling. The offset of 4 ma, in the case of 4 to 20 milliamp signal, provides a distinction between zero signal represented by 4 mA and no information due to an open circuit. A temperature transducer is an example of an analog input device. It sends a continuous stream of temperature data to a PLC or DCS. This temperature data is expressed in varying degrees not simply as hot or cold. An analog control valve is an example of an analog output device. It receives a continuous analog signal from a PLC telling it how much to open or close. If it was a discrete device, it could only be either totally open or closed, but never in between. The source of the signal, an electronic system, can receive power supply via the forma component that is not needed for information transfer. Current to voltage conversion can be done simply by passing the current signal through a resistor and utilizing the voltage drop across the resistor as the converted voltage signal. Reversed conversion requires a voltage to current converter. Limit switch is an example of a discrete input device because at any given time, it is either open or closed. It sends a discrete digital signal to a PLC. This signal can have one of only two values, 0 or 1, indicating that the device is either off or on, respectively. A pilot light is an example of a discrete output device. It can only be on or off. A discrete output device receives a discrete digital signal from a PLC telling it to be in either one state or the other. A discrete output can never be in a state in between on and off. Many different digital network standards exist for PLCs to communicate with, from PLC to PLC and between PLCs and field devices. One of the earliest digital protocols developed for PLC communication was Modbus, originally for the Modicon brand of PLC. Serial communication is when data is transmitted one bit at a time. A data word has to be separated into its constituent bits for transmission and then reassembled into the word when received. Serial communication is used for transmitting data over long distances. Might be used for the connection between a computer and a PLC. Protocols. It is necessary to exercise control of the flow of data between two devices so what constitutes the message, and how the communication is to be initiated and terminated, is defined. This is termed the protocol. One device needs to indicate to the other to start or stop sending data. Hope you all understood about IO signals in instruments, thanks for watching the video.